Welcome to Know Your Mobile. I'm Basil and we are here at HTC. There are some guys doing gymnastics in front of me, but we're here for the HTC One. So ignore the bumping in the background. I'm going to talk you through the phone and compare it with the iPhone 5. The HTC One is the latest flagship from the Taiwanese manufacturer. It packs a 4.7 inch Full HD display, giving it a whopping PPI. And that's pixels per inch of 468. It's got stereo speakers up top and bottom, along with a wide angle front facing camera, which also packs HDR and optical image stabilization. It's a real, real winner from the offset. But how does it stack up against everyone's favorite phone of the moment, or at least everyone who doesn't love Android, the Apple iPhone 5? Well, the iPhone 5 has a 4-inch screen, so it's initially smaller, and altogether it's a smaller form factor. They carry a similar design with bezel edges, though the HTC One S looks distinctly, distinctly like a BlackBerry Z10, especially in black. Just a way, way better BlackBerry Z10. The BlackBerry Z10, as we know, is plastic finish, it's quite bulky, and it didn't have a lot of design nuance. It looked like a chunky iPhone. But the HTC One has this curvaceous backing, which is absolutely beautiful, tapering off to a roughly four millimeter edge. The One also packs a uh, micro SIM slot on the left-hand side, while to the right-hand side is a volume rocker. Up top, power button, infrared port underneath, and 3.5 mil headphone jack. Down below, micro USB port, and on the reverse is the camera and the flash. That's a four megapixel camera, but don't be put off by the pixel count. Pack something called Ultra Pixel. What is it? Just a regular pixel, but bigger, which means low light performance is gonna be pretty immense. You can see some plastic banding along the HTC One as well. That's because it's got NFC technology, and obviously you can't work that into full metal. So HTC have found a really great workaround, and it feels very rich like a unibody device. Indeed it is. The iPhone 5 is a lot more traditional. It's got a home button on the left side, a power and, um, sorry, a toggle as well as a volume button. Um, up top is a power button, down below is a lightning connector and speaker with a 3.5mm headphone jack. On the reverse, you have that rear facing 8 megapixel camera and all the standard Apple insignia, etc. As far as the user interfaces go, you've got Android versus iOS. It is the age old battle. This isn't the latest version of Android on the HTC One, it's Android 4.1. Still jelly beans, so you still get Google now, but it isn't going to have um, a lot of the advanced functionality of Android 4.1, like the widgets and the notifications bar. Although that update was really mainly for tablets. iOS, simple as ever. You have applications and you have folders, and you've got a search bar, and that's about it. What really sets um, the HTC One apart from standard Android phones, though, is the fact you've got this Blink feed. Blink feed's your default home screen. If we scroll up and down, we can see we've, it's aggregating a whole load of content. We can see we can actually select our highlights with Blink feed. These can be Twitter, Facebook, etc., but they can also include things like The Guardian, The Independent, Reuters, and whatnot. Really, really nice to have. On the home screen, there's also, on the Blink feed screen, sorry, there's also a big clock. And when we jump into our applications, the clock doesn't disappear. It is a sticky clock. Um, the application destroys is a three by three grid. However, we can change it to a four by five grid. Looking really good and definitely looking a lot fresher than the iPhone. We would say that Apple needs to up their game with the next version of iOS and indeed the next version of their hardware. It looks beautiful. The design is extremely, extremely refined and polished, but in the same breath, um, it is a very tried and tested formula. Um, so now moving on to the camera, you've got that 8 megapixel rear facing camera on the iPhone, that 4 megapixel camera on the HTC One. Why 4 megapixels? Well, it can do something called a Zoe. An HTC Zoe is taking of images and video simultaneously. That is 3.6 seconds of video, along with 20 images. Um, they're shot at full resolution as well. This enables you to create really rich content from a single moment. These Zoe's are displayed in the gallery really, really smartly. So if we pop into the gallery for you, find it, I think it's on the home screen. Um, there you go. We can see if we actually look at a Zoe, my photos, some of the elements are actually gonna start moving. There you go. It's kind of like Harry Potter. They just move out of place. So 
right there, it turns into something called a highlight video. A highlight video is when a Zoe grabs up, uh, when a, the HTC One grabs a whole load of videos and amalgamates them together into something altogether more special. We can also do things like sequence shots, which we can show you. It's all taken from a single shot. There's a whole load of special effects on the HTC One for you to sink your teeth into. Whereas the iPhone 5 is good, it's solid, it has a load of useful applications, but it's nowhere near as creative. As far as processors go, dual-core processor inside the iPhone 5. Um, it's an A6 processor, it's fantastic, and you won't notice any lag or slowdown. The HTC One packs a... Oh, you've got to check that out. Just so you know what's going on behind us, and why we're being easily distracted. Right, back to the phone. The HTC One packs a ridiculous quad-core processor, Snapdragon S4 1.7 GHz. It's the 600 variant, so it is literally, behind the 800, the most cutting edge thing that you are gonna find right now. Two gigabytes of RAM, 32 gigabytes of internal storage. iPhone 16, 32, or 64 internal storage. Neither are micro SD expandable. Is there anything we've missed? Um, battery life, the 2300 milliamp battery in the HTC One should be sweet to power it up for a full day, hopefully, but we really can't say for sure until we get one in for review. And for any more information, that is exactly what you are going to have to wait for. Thanks for watching Know Your Mobile. I have been Basil. I've been at the HTC event with the HTC One and the iPhone 5.